So I've been working on a script to automatically generate these QA and gas optimization reports for a Code Arena order contest and it's coming along quite well. So I thought I would make this video to give you guys a bit of an update on the progress of that. I actually have a prototype and I did run it for the most recent competition and it did uh, okay, I guess. It did much better than I thought it would but there are still some issues with it that I would like to work through because it's not like how I want it to be as a final product because there's still a lot of false positives in those um, findings that the uh, script generates. So I was thinking, I hoped anyway, um, that uh, it would have been like a five minute job, generate the report from the script, bang, bang, and done, I can submit it. But um, currently in its current form, still a lot of false positives. So I had to spend maybe around um, 30 minutes or so to just go through the report, pick out um, any false positives, uh, reword some of the findings a bit to make it more applicable to the code base. So small details like that is still a, a sort of a working progress for me. But I'm overall uh, pretty happy with how far it's come within uh, just a week uh, of me working on it. Um, this is actually a partly been spurred on by me reading this chat on the Code Arena Discord where there was some speculation where some of these um, high ranking reports for QA and gas optimizations uh, that they were written by a script of some sort. And uh, after digging into this a bit further, I'm uh, fairly confident that they are um, at least a big majority of those findings were generated by a plugin or a script of some sort. And the warden has, um, after the fact, went through and added some uh, manual findings. So, so that's generally how I feel um, these, uh, how these top ranking reports uh, that are currently winning like around $300 to $1,000 each a contest. Um, that's how I suspect that they have been made. So uh, definitely, um, you know, after uh, digging into that, I thought 100% uh, it's worth uh, writing a script myself to uh, do something similar to rank a bit higher in those gas and uh, QA reports. And uh, for the last competition that I just where I just ran um, this new prototype that I developed, I found a decent am amount of uh, findings just uh, straight off the bat and. Um, yeah, uh, 30 minutes of cleaning that up. Uh, overall, the report uh, I submitted uh, definitely much better than the reports I used to submit. Um, when I uh, used to do these uh, gas and QA reports, I was ranking about half. So say for example, 50 wardens submitted QA reports, I would rank around um, a 10 to a 25, somewhere along those lines. and. Um, I reckon with the aid of this new script, uh, hopefully I'll be ranking um, maybe top 10 or even top 5. And uh, it's cut down the amount of time that I have to spend to uh, generate these QI and gas reports a lot as well. Uh, before, I was spending probably up to 3 hours sometimes uh, formatting these uh, QA and gas reports and now the last one took 30 minutes with the aid of the script just picking out the false positives so already a very <coughs> big uh, help um, to me participating in these uh, future audit contests and um, a couple of uh, ways that I approach this so you could either use a slither you can use a sol hint uh, to write up a plugin of some sort. Um, I looked into those two options. Uh, I looked at Slither, I considered that. Uh, but uh, for Slither, you have to compile the code for it to actually work. And some of these uh, contests on Code Arena, the sponsors don't give you enough code for you to actually compile. Sometimes it's just a naked 
uh, Solidity code on GitHub and so I didn't really um, want to go with uh, a slither in case the sponsor didn't provide all the files needed and soul hint is probably the oh, probably the long-term way to go i didn't go with soul hint by the way um when i looked at the soul hint repo it looked really solid like you can generate uh uml diagrams from solidity code it's la actually like a full-on parser for solidity so you can pretty much do anything you want in terms of parsing the code and it was a pretty a pretty solid code base uh, by the looks of it but when i was looking through uh, like the documentation or the lack thereof of documentation of uh, learning how it works i thought uh, probably i will have to spend like maybe uh, one to two weeks just to learn how to uh, properly write plugins um and then um i in that case i probably would uh, uh you know rather spend the time uh, learning about solidity vulnerabilities with that time with that one to two weeks um, instead of learning how um, soul hint works and all that stuff so i actually ended up going back to c4 audit which i will show you guys uh the github repo of so c audit is a program where a couple of wardens wrote up about six months ago you may notice uh this name as well purple merkel plant um, a warden who's been participating on code for quite a while um, it hasn't been updated for a while, but the bones of what it's uh, doing is already there. And you sort of just need to uh, add your own detection rules into this. It's just regex, so super quick and easy, a pretty hackish way to get yourself up quickly um, for these uh, auto generation of reports. It's really easy to understand, but there are some quirks with Golang regex where it doesn't let you do negative look aheads, which it doesn't really help when you're trying to write up a rule that is trying to cut out the false positives that you're getting. Uh, but I sort of hacked at this. Um, I extended the functionality a bit and added uh, some of my own logic around this code to sort of make it work and overall um, it, it does work um it's like i said i uh i didn't expect it to work as well as it did so i'm uh, pretty happy with that it's cut down my auditing uh, for these uh, qi and gas uh, time down a lot and um, so moving forward um, i'm not sure if i'm going to keep extending this or go back to actually developing a proper tool with a sole hint um, because uh, a lot of false positives with my current code um, i can keep hacking at it to make it better and better with tiny iterations um, to slowly cut down the work i'll have to do to clean up those order reports at the end but i think long term um i don't know may maybe it's worth it to uh, do a proper proper uh, tooling uh, with the soul hint plugins uh, but currently i'm going to stick with um, the script i have for now i'll see down the road whether i'm going to switch or not uh, but i think uh, for the next couple of competitions at least uh, i'll stick to my current script and make some uh, try to make some improvements uh, to cut down all the false positives and that kind of stuff so what I did was go through all of these previous order reports, uh, these QA and gas optimization issues. All of these issues that I encountered, I went back to the C audit tool and I wrote up a little regex, added it into this file. And I also changed some of the logic around the analyzer to extend the functionality a bit uh just to um, add the ability to reduce the number of false positives that i was getting it's probably not the most efficient way i could have gone about it it's currently sort of like a mess of a disgusting spaghetti code but luckily solidity uh, files are not that long so efficiency is not going to play a 
big role in terms of generating these um, audit findings. So I'm lucky in that regard and uh, I might even um, switch to a different tool later on down the road. Um, this is sort of just a prototype to test um, how good is uh, a potential script can be for generating uh, these audit reports. You know, initially I actually thought of um, trying to write up a script for this fairly early on on Code Arena, but I actually found a lot of value just manually doing these QA and gas optimization reports for a while because it really helped just uh, uh, parsing the code with your eyes. Like it just really sort of ingrains the pattern in your mind a bit better. So. Um, Generating these QI and gas optimization reports manually for a couple of months has uh, helped me in terms of getting more familiar with the various patterns in Solidity. But now I think the cost benefit of that is a really going down now. So um, yeah, it's a good time for me to write up a script to uh, do this kind of stuff. So enough said, uh, let me generate a report, uh, maybe for one of these uh, previous order contests, and we can compare the output of the script from um, one of these reports that actually won that particular contest, just so you guys can uh, have an idea of where the script is at um, in its current form and what sort of things it's finding. So um, yeah, we'll, we'll do sturdy, uh, why not? We'll do this one. So. Um, let's grab the code. So to run the tool, you just go C4 audit dash S to generate the report and specify the folder that the smart contracts are in. So here it is, the report gets generated immediately and here it is, there's the report. So pretty decent in terms of the number of findings that it got. Uh, let's see how many gas optimization issues did it get? Uh, 15 gas optimization issues, um, eight low issues, and six non-critical issues. Uh, let's compare with the report that won this competition. So the report that won Sturdy had nine lows and uh, 13 non-criticals. So it's coming pretty close. Um, you can see all the findings that are found here. It's still definitely getting some false positives, uh, which um, it's gonna be a working progress to uh, fix all of those issues. But still, I think it's a fairly limited in terms of how I can improve it because um, it's only regex and substring hacks at this point, so there's not, there's not too much I can do in terms of that. This is why um, I may be considering switching to um, a proper Solidity parser uh, moving forward. And let's see, in terms of gas optimization issues, this one had 17 issues and my tool currently picked up uh, 15. Pretty decent amount. And um, you know, I can still go through the code, add a couple of manual ones in here and also um, clean up the false positives a bit. And overall, not too much time invested for me to generate uh, one of these uh, QA reports now. Um, last competition I just did, around half an hour. I'm pretty happy with that result. Hopefully if um, the report that I submitted um, you know, ranks top 10 or top five um, consistently, I'll be pretty happy with that. Um, like if we compare with uh, a top five report, let's see how many findings uh, this one had. Um, it didn't have too much in this report. Um, yeah, I mean, hopefully if that was ranking top five, um, my script will be ranking pretty high up there at its uh, current stage. Um, yeah, let's, let's see how how this script goes and um, what the payout is moving forward. Uh, so it's gonna take about uh, two months uh, to uh, for the results to come out. Uh, how much uh, the payouts for these uh, reports uh, get. Uh, so I'll keep you guys updated um, on the progress. Uh, I'll sort of just keep making um, modifications to 
uh, the script, uh, tweak it a bit here and there to save more time. And I'll be super happy if I only have to spend like five minutes or 10 minutes to generate uh, one of these reports. Um, you know, five minutes for 100 to $200, I, I'll take it. That's pretty good. Um, in terms of an hourly rate for me. If you want to write up something like this, uh, yeah, definitely cl clone, get, clone this repo, um, have a look at it. It's uh, really easy to understand and you can write up something quick and dirty like me to uh, make something uh, work like this. If you wanna go for something that's uh, technically better than this, uh, definitely Soul Hint, I would recommend that. I'll probably be looking into that myself a bit further. Um, it's sort of like a cost um, benefit analysis for me at this point, whether I wanna spend uh, more time developing uh, some of these toolings around uh, QA and gas, or I wanna spend this time uh, learning more about um, solidity vulnerabilities to get more of those uh, highs and mediums uh, moving forward.